Hello, it is Sunday. It is week 36 of my mental health vlog. Um, this has been a pretty busy week for me, actually. On Monday, I had my um, SAA meeting. On Tuesday, I met with my sponsor and got a manicure because I needed one. And on Wednesday, I had an SAA meeting. On Thursday night, I had a date which was fun. Um, I went to a restaurant for the first time since everything shut down. I was a little nervous, but we sat outside. I wore my mask unless I was eating. Um, so that was, that was fine. I, I'm, I was a little uneasy going to a restaurant. I'm not going to lie, but it was, it was a nice, it was a nice uh, date. Um, then Friday, I had my son. Uh, we did not go to Subway. We actually ordered pizza, which was different because we always go to Subway. It's our thing. Um, oh, uh, Tuesday I met with my psychiatrist. Wednesday I met with my therapist. Uh, my psychiatrist has put me on a small dose of Focalin um, to help with my ADD uh, during work hours. So I'm only taking it Monday through Wednesday, um, twice a day, once in the morning, once at lunchtime. Uh, just to help get me through the day. Um, I felt that it helped with my focus a little bit. I'm not sure it helped with my attention. So there's two different things for me. Um, so like when I had a project to work on, I had no problem focusing on it, which was great. Um, but when it came to like conference calls and stuff, my brain was just everywhere. So um, I'll stay on the small dose for a while, see if that changes. And if not, maybe I'll go up a little bit. The funny thing is, this is the same medication my son's on. So, uh, it definitely decreased my appetite. I don't think I've had lunch at all this week. Um, not that that's a good thing because I don't have breakfast either. Uh, so I've only been eating at night. Um, I'd like to think that's going to help me lose weight, but I know how food works and it's probably going to make me gain weight because when you don't eat and then you eat, your body's like, Ooh, food, I'm going to hold on to it and store it because we never know when we're going to eat again. So... I gotta gotta kind of fight through that to make myself eat. Um, but yeah, Friday night I had my son over. Um, we ordered pizza. We uh, watched some TV and we played some games. Had a lot of fun. Um, then Saturday he had uh, virtual taekwondo in the morning, and then uh, we ran some errands because I needed to go to like Joanne's and stuff. And uh, then we came back and we worked on some math flashcards. He's really good at math. Um, and then we played some more Pokemon and Untitled Goose Games. So we had some fun. Uh, then I took him home. And then Saturday night, um, my, uh, the guy I'm dating and I went to go see a, a drive-in movie theater. Or drive-in movie all the way up in Hockley. Um, Huckley, Hockley, way up there. Um, and that was fun. It was Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. I was so tired. I could not stay for all of Jurassic World. I did, I, we left before even the good stuff started. Um, but I was just, I was tired. It was, it was after midnight and, you know, I was just tired. So came home, um, went to bed, uh, but it was a nice date. Um, my back has been out all week long. So sitting in the back of the car trying to watch the movie last night was, it was hard for me to get comfortable. Um, and then today I got a massage and the massage girl was amazing. I told her what my problems were. She found all the knots that she needed to find and it hurt like hell for her, for her to work them out. But when she was done, I got off the table and stood up straight for the first time I've been able to stand up straight all week. Um, so that was a really, really good massage and a reminder that self-care is really important. Um, I wish I could afford to get more massages more often, but I took advantage of the fact that I had a... a uh, the guy I'm dating got uh, like a coupon or a really good deal um, on the massage and it, it was so needed and so I'm so grateful for that um, so that was nice that was very nice um, today I've been spending most of my day at my computer um, I finished up my first step um, kind of scaled it down a little bit so it fit within the time parameters and I'm pretty proud of it. Um, 
I mean, I could always go into more detail, but you know, time's a factor. So I, we got to keep it between 20 and 30 minutes. So I got it done in 20 minutes. And um, I was, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, I'll go over it with my sponsor probably Tuesday. And then um, I will deliver it in my meeting probably next week. Not this week, but next week. So that will be my first step. And as I've talked about before, your first step's a really big deal. Um, we actually had a first step presentation this week in SAA. And uh, it was very powerful. It was long, but it was very powerful. Um, I was very happy I got a chance to listen to it before giving mine. Um, then after working on my first step, I talked to my son a little bit. Um, and then I had to digitize, I had this order for patches and it's this guy in Canada that always reaches out to me for custom orders. And it was 17 different patches. So I spent this afternoon doing nothing but digitizing the designs for, so I can make them into patches, hopefully sometime this week. Uh, but that was a lot of work. And, you know, it's, it's nice to have customers come back to me and, and request specific custom stuff for me. So and that makes, that makes me happy that, that, um, that they trust me enough to do custom work. Um, beyond that, I mean, there's a lot going on in the world right now and, um, I'm trying very hard not to let it stress me out. I did have a realization this week that I've come a long way from how I was raised. You may have seen the Facebook post I made about it. Um, in no way, shape or form am I trying to indicate that my parents are now horrible people. I think my parents have come a long way too. My mom, especially my mom didn't have that far to go, but she's a great person. And my dad has come a little ways from where, where he was when I was raised. Um, but I was, I was raised in a household where I heard derogatory terms towards multiple different classes of people or, or colors of people or, or races. And I was raised to be proud of the Confederacy. You know, that was my heritage and, and I was, you know, raised to think certain ways and I'm proud of where I am. I'm proud of the growth that I've, that I've gone through since, you know, being an adult. And a lot of that came with being gay and having my eyes open to a lot of prejudice and stereotypes. And so, yeah, I'm really proud with where I am today. And I hope that I can be, I hope that my son will be a better version, a better man than I am. That's my ultimate goal. That's my ultimate hope. So I have to make sure that I'm always working towards that. And I think so far I've done a pretty damn good job. There's moments. But recognizing your, your deficiencies and working on them and growing, that's being human. You know, everyone should try to strive to be better than they were yesterday. I do. I do every day. You know, I take a lot of things one day at a time, especially with SAA, one day at a time. And I, my goal is to just be better than I was yesterday. Some days I achieve that, some days I don't. But that just gives me an opportunity to be better the next day. So that's my little pearl of wisdom for y'all. Just try to be better tomorrow than you were today. And just do one day at a time. Eventually you'll find out you're a pretty damn awesome person. Unless you just refuse to change or refuse to learn or refuse to grow and then you're just an asshole. There's a lot of those out there. Um, but that's it for this week, guys. Uh, it's been a very busy week. It's been a very busy day. I'm, look I'm looking forward to heating up some dinner and just spending this evening in my recliner. Um, which I think is well-deserved. So I love you guys. I really do. I mean that. I, I wouldn't share my vulnerability with y'all if I didn't feel y'all were worthy of hearing it. So thank you for listening to it. I love you guys. Uh, take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Take care of your friends. Take some time for self-care. Self-care is important. Whether it's a manicure, a massage, or just taking some time to meditate. Or going to therapy. That's part of self-care as well. Your mental health is important. All right, guys. I will see you next week. Bye.